Hey guys, Feeding Frenzy here. I'm just coming to you from inside the greenhouse today. Um, I wanted to go over uh, supplementation real quick. Just what I do, guys. It, it can get complicated, but I'm just going to go over with what my system has done and what my system has taught me, okay? Uh, so please do your own research before you start doing any supplementing in your system. You need to know exactly where your water source came from, uh, what is your water source, and um, understand how that, that affects your, your system and the way your system works, because uh, everybody's is gonna be different. So, and I, I don't get into mathematics because of this. Um, I just won't do that. So you guys need to know exactly what you're doing. And uh, so let's, let's start with, when I first started in aquaponics, I didn't know what a deficiency was because I was really taking these people's word of, oh, just feed your fish. Well, it's, it's way more complicated than that. Okay, and I, I'm here to put a stop to this, oh, just feed your fish stuff, okay? I, I hope that doesn't offend anybody, but um, it's not that simple. And especially if you're growing tomatoes and fruiting vegetables, you will have to supplement your system, not only for the nutrients, but to buffer up your pH because your pH is gonna fall, 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 fall. Well, after about 6.0, I don't think that's a very good thing, okay? Um, to me, the sweet spot is 6.2 to 6.4 and then you buffer up to about 6.7, uh, 6.6, somewhere in there. That's what I would do, okay? That's just what I do. And um, so let's talk about uh, magnesium deficiencies and ways that we can safely uh, counter that in our system, okay? And uh, magnesium, Epsom salt, guys, magnesium sulfate. That is the name of what you're using when you use Epsom salt. It's pH neutral. It's a great soluble way to get magnesium into your system. Now I want to tell you, uh, this is the number one deficiency that I've seen in my system. Now if you're using tap water, you I don't think you should ever see really a calcium deficiency. If you're, if you're topping off your system with uh, hose water from the tap, I don't, you should really shouldn't have too much of a calcium problem. There's a lot of calcium in the tap water, guys. I use an RO system so I can have more control. I will break down the RO system and what it does on another video. Just know that it strips all of the nutrients out of that water, which make, makes it acidic. So I'm introducing clean, acidic water into my system, and then I dose it with uh, some Calamagic. This is fish safe, hydroponic stuff. And um, so you've got calcium, magnesium, and potassium. That's pretty much uh, how it works. Like I said, guys, I've noticed more of a magnesium problem than anything else and uh, I dose it with uh, my calcium because I use an RO system okay I wouldn't do that unless I absolutely had to well I have to because I use an RO system majority of the time sometimes I'll put tap water in my system it just depends on what I want to do what the system's telling me I need to do uh, because carbonates they drive your system up and it stays there guys the carbonates are very very tough and uh, they are resilient is the only way I can explain. They hang around very long. The nitric acid in your system will break them down or eat them up. Um, it precipitates out of your system, so it takes a while, but once your system's running for about six months, eight months, even a year, you shouldn't have any problem consuming some carbonate. So I'm not gonna go against carbonates, guys. Um, another rule of thumb is you're going to use chelated iron. There's no way around this, folks. You will use chelated iron, and you can always use powder form. You actually pay more uh, for the liquid because it's liquid, so try to get powder if you can, but nevertheless, you need some. Um, another little miracle thing that is mandatory, I think, is Maxicrop liquid seaweed, and you can get the powder kind, which I have here, and, and uh, you could also get the liquid kind. I get both, I like both. And I actually have a spray bottle full of this stuff constantly. So guys, that's pretty much it. And I actually spray, that's really the only foliar spray that I use. It's the only one that I feel comfortable with. Foliar sprays are excellent, but um, you, can, you can do damage if you don't know what you're doing. So guys, I cannot stress this enough. I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but, but you've really got to know what you're doing and uh, less is more because you don't want to cause any more problems um, in your system if you're already showing a deficiency. So I kind of want to talk about deficiencies, guys. If you've got 
uh, like, let's look at this tomato. You know, you got a top, middle, and bottom. Um, I see a little bit of a deficiency here, but it is very, very minor. And it, it it's appearing to be uh, splotty. And it would tell me that it's a calcium problem, but I don't think it's a calcium problem because it's at the lower parts. Um, usually if you have a yellowing at the lower parts, and I'm talking about a chlorosis, okay? The veins are still green, guys, but the inside of where the leaf is and the where the vein is right here, that should be green. And then you'll see yellowing in the leaf. And um, that's a chlorosis. All of these symptoms um, have chlorosis, so be careful. Um, you will always see yellowing of your plant, but the bottom tells you it's either a potassium issue or a magnesium issue. So um, now the, the further you go up to the plant, if you see yellowing at the top, uh, it would usually be, and, and I mean at the very, very top, guys, you would see uh, yellowing, and it actually would be uh, an iron deficiency. So I don't see any iron deficiencies in my system because I use that collated iron regularly, okay? And it works very well. And get the EDTA, okay? There's three different types. The other ones have so many letters in them, I can't even say them. So get, get the EDTA. That's the best stuff for your aquaponics system. And uh, make sure it's ferrous. It needs to be in ferrous form. So make sure that you understand what chelated iron is because you ha it's a big one that you just have to go with, okay? You have to add it. Um, and then a calcium issue would be at the top of your plants, and it looks real splotty. Like uh, it's got, and I can show you some. Um, this ochre has been very matured, and I can show you what kind of like a calcium deficiency looks like. It's more at the top, and it looks kind of like, um, you know, just brown spots. And you'll see some necrosis around the tips. If your tips are real kind of burnt um, at the top, you, you're seeing a calcium issue. And uh, usually uh, cucumbers are really a good way to study plant deficiencies. For me, I learned a lot of my deficiencies through a cucumber. Um, so really, I would encourage you to go look at, at the cucumber. I'll take you down here to the pepper bed. And um, I don't know if the lighting's good enough over here, but guys, you can see that we've got a little bit of chlorosis in this pepper. And now this pepper's been around for a while, so you know, it's, it's amazing how well it's really done. But uh, I, I see a little bit of a chlorosis, and that tells me that that is an iron problem because I don't see the tips burning up. I see all the problem in the middle of the leaf. So that would tell me that that is an iron issue, and you can see what it looks like, guys. And I've dosed my system with some iron the other day, so it should, it should turn out pretty good. Um, overall, things look really, really good, and um, I expect to see a few deficiencies here and there. Um, especially with an older plant so there it is guys um, and you can see I hope you guys can see the okra and that's that's a calcium thing okay and I've also trimmed those the back so they're a little bit stressed out but overall things look really great guys and it's because I supplement my system okay it's that simple I'm feeding them top grade uh, food first of all and then whatever that food can't deliver once it's broken down through the bacteria and microorganisms, that's when I decide to supplement. And um, I just, guys, it really works. And um, we can get the, we can get more complicated with this, but I really don't want to. I just want you guys to know. I want you guys to go do all your own research, and you decide what's best for your system. Because I can't tell you what's best for your system. The only thing I can talk about is mine and how mine operates. I started out with high. Uh, 7.8 water okay time happened and uh, the the bacteria the nitric acid drops the system you buffer it back up uh, and like I said you can use that tap water guys if, if you know what you're doing with your tap water by all means use it okay because it's not necessarily a bad thing uh, for the backyard grower okay and that's really all I'm talking about is backyard growing here commercial operation is a whole nother ball game so um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm hoping that this has been educational, and I want to stress to you again, please slow down, guys. Do things in small increments for your fish, more than anything your fish, which really affects you. I mean, if something's hurting in your system and you notice it, that means it's going to be stressful for you. So 
let's let's be wise with what we're doing and uh, and, and just know what products you're going to use i mean you can see all my products down there i don't use all of that stuff and i'm willing to push my system around a little bit i'm, I'm willing to play with it with enough research okay so guys please do your research and understand how to buffer your water and understand exactly um, when you supplement for your plants exactly what's going to happen in your water uh, for, for your overall system of your uh, your plants your fish and your bacteria okay uh, I hope this has been informative guys hey thanks for the subscriptions um, please uh, comment thumbs up the videos if you like them guys and, and thumbs down them if you don't and uh, hey you guys keep building your systems, keep feeding your fish, and I'll see you on the next one.